I just wanted to pop on and say, it's been a surprise to me how directional the tweeters are in the A1. I didn't realize that when I first had it and my first recordings were like that because it looked a bit neater. My so my mic's here, at the, the little cord that way, it was a bit neater and I didn't realize of course the tweeters around there and I'm off, you know, it's all intents and purposes, I'm off axis to the tweeter. But I'm thinking 360 degree sound, the tweeter's firing up. Is it really going to make that? To me, I didn't even think about it. I thought that's not going to be an issue. I realise now, having spent quite a bit of time with it, that tweeter, in my opinion, is highly directional. It's not only directional to my ears, it's measurably uh, directional. So when I say measurably, if I do a frequency response uh, measurement, I do it at 45 degrees, this is what I get. These are the frequency responses recorded at 45 degrees. Tweeter nearest the mic, tweeter furthest from the mic. There's a big difference. So clearly a boost when you have the tweeter on axis is clearly directional, three kilohertz and up, significantly more high end. However, looks like I assume this dip here at 2.5 kilohertz is the crossover. 2.5 kilohertz is a classic place for the crossover for the tweeter. And look at that dip. So that looks like a poor crossover. You don't get that dip when the tweeter is off axis. I think that's even more evidence that it's highly directional. The woofer is covering that dip when you have the tweeter off axis. When the tweeter is on axis to you, there is that dip, but you do get the benefit of the high end, which overcomes that dip, but does look like a poorly implemented crossover. So those are my measurements. This is a comparison of having the tweeter face on to the mic, recorded at 45 degrees, and then away from you. If it's directional, as you'd expect from a tweeter, you're gonna hear a difference, aren't you? If it's not directional, you won't. So <laughs> have a listen. So what's going on? Well, let's have a look. So that is the tweeter. And as you will see, it's actually on the edge and it's slightly set back. So that means given that, you know, our high end is directional, you know, our low end is not so directional. Our high end is, and it's on the edge and it's set backwards. So it's, it's lower on that edge when you have it that way round. And it's certainly completely obscured when you have it that way around. You can see how that makes it directional. So when I was making my recordings and it was like that, it's basically off axis. And same as with my ears, it's not just recordings. I can hear that it's sharper to my ears, it's clearer if I have it that way around. And I don't mean with the grill off, with the grill on. I'm just showing you where the tweet and reality actually is. The fact that it's set back. It's set back and it's on the edge. Now, it would have been great, obviously, to have two tweeters. It almost have some sort of stereo going on. Obviously, it's not so, stereo is not so important at the low end. And not all tracks actually have stereo in the bass. A lot of them are mono in the bass. So, it would have been nice, you know, with Gen 2, uh, to actually have two tweeters. And they could have said, Gen 2, two tweeters. It would have been uh, catchy in the headlines. But it isn't. It's still an on-the-edge setback tweeter. Yeah. I do know not everyone agrees that is directional. To me, I can hear a difference and I can measure a difference. So I think that is directional. From this point on, all my recordings will be with a tweeter face on. I know it's just sold as a 360 degree speaker, but let's face it, <laughs> you want the tweeter that way, you want to get the most out of your speaker. And it, and it does make a difference. I have enjoyed it a lot more in stereo with a pair of them 
with the tweet their face on. So I don't have so much of what was, was a problem before. It just wasn't clear enough. It wasn't enough clarity until you really, you know, bump it 90% and above and you get a bit more dynamics. It does help doing it that way on. Just to hammer home my point, at the lower volumes where that clarity really is an issue, where it sounds that much more muddy, 60% volume, the difference. Recorded 90 degrees, so that's face on, tweeter furthest from the mic, tweeter nearest to the mic. You can see there that big difference. There's that big boost just before 4 kilohertz, and it goes all the way up to near 20 kilohertz. You do have that dip, as I said, when you are on axis, which I'm assuming is the crossover. But apart from that, you do get more definition, more high end. It sounds clearer. I'd rather listen to it this way on. So that was the whole point of the video to say, I found it directional, <laughs> something for you to note. Um, and also in my early recordings, it would have sound, sounded a bit duller than if you had the tweeter that way around, because I actually, simply because it seemed neater, was recording it that way, where you, I'm not getting the benefit completely of that on the edge setback tweeter. Hope you got something out of this video, and I thank you once again for watching.